is embarking on an anti-racism and anti-oppression journey as part of our ongoing commitment to challenge systemic discrimination in all its forms, confronting racism, colonialism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, ableism, classism, and other forms of discrimination as they come up in our work and in our work contexts. As the front line of healthcare in Ontario, and as a union, ONA members, staff, senior management, and elected leaders understand that anti-Indigenous racism, anti-Black racism, discrimination, and hate have no place in healthcare or in broader society. ONA comes to this journey shaped and informed by where we have been, critically reflecting on where we are, and moving beyond good intentions to reimagine where we're going as advocates for workers' rights, human rights, equity, and inclusion. ONA's board of directors fully supports and is investing in sustainable anti-racism and anti-oppression work. We recognize that this work is an essential part of our existing commitments to human rights, equity, diversity, and inclusion. As ONA's leading healthcare union, we strive to lead by example. And to do this, we must challenge ourselves to deepen and expand our understanding of what it means to be a truly inclusive organization. ONA is committed to fostering an environment of equity and inclusivity for our members and the staff that support you. To support ONA's anti-racism and anti-oppression journey, we will be drawing on the insights and expertise of frontline staff and management. As Vice President, Region 1, with the Human Rights and Equity Portfolio, I have been working with our Human Rights and Equity team to support our members and staff. With the addition of the Anti-Racism Advisory Team and the Anti-Racism and Anti-Oppression Action Plan Working Group, I am very invested in bringing senior leadership participation to this work and continue to move the change forward. ONA's journey involves all of us. We are thankful that our journey is being guided by the wisdom, experiences, knowledge and expertise of our members and staff who form the Anti-Racism Advisory Team, as well as the staff and leadership members of the Anti-Racism and Anti-Oppression Action Plan Working Group. ONA's Action Plan is a four-year plan that sets out the structure we need to integrate evidence-based anti-racism and anti-oppression practices into every level of ONA's work and services. The action plan will be divided into four main sections, members, staff, senior management, and elected leadership. To assist us with the design and development of the action plan, we are thrilled to work with Tommy Elizabeth Sojourner Campbell as ONA's lead consultant. I'm very pleased to be on this journey with ONA. I have extensive experience working with unions and legal professionals. I also bring more than 20 years of experience in the areas of anti-racism, anti-oppression, and organizational development. My approach to working with ONA on this journey includes consulting with the working group and internal stakeholders to co-create the four-year action plan, gathering information about ONA's current work on human rights, equity, diversity, and inclusion, and developing a comprehensive education plan for members and staff as well as reviewing relevant industry data and research reports. ONA's journey is about each of us. It is also about empowerment, courage, perseverance, solidarity, healing, and nurturing sustainable growth for our members and staff of today, tomorrow, and for generations to come. Together, we will move beyond good intentions and confront racial discrimination through solidarity.